Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another glorious video for your viewing pleasure, featuring the rat himself. Since Brad Marchand has made headlines yet again for all of the wrong reasons, shocked face, we're going to go through another handful of times that Marchand got it handed to him, aka karma can be a real buzzkill. Now, in case you haven't seen part one of this mini-series, I'll have a link down below, because once you see this slew of moments, you're probably going to be hoping for more. And with that, here are five more times that Brad Marchand got destroyed. So, to kick things off, how about an old-fashioned open ice hit? At Marshawn's expense, of course. Over in Orange County, in the last period of play, Marshawn was looking to move quickly through the neutral zone and break the tie. Well, you could say that Duck's defenseman, Josh Manson, had other plans entirely for Marshawn. As soon as his opponent received the puck on his stick, Manson plowed into Marshawn with force knocking him instantly off the puck. Marshawn could be shown pretty much bouncing off of Manson, who was confronted by David Pasternak directly after. Since the hit was deemed clean by the officials, no penalties were called as play continued. For the next few moments in the countdown here, we're going to be seeing a lot of the Washington Capitals, which isn't a huge surprise, due to Washington being one of Boston's top rivals. And the rivalry was certainly in peak form during last postseason as the Bruins faced the Capitals in the first round. Following Tom Wilson's controversial hit on Brandon Carlo in the regular season, tensions remained at a high level throughout the series. And it was during Game 4 of the first round that Marchand felt the distaste firsthand. With a commanding 3-0 lead by the third period, frustration was definitely setting in for Alex Ovechkin and his team. Ovechkin, who saw Marchand all alone on the offensive, saw an opportunity to try and rattle Marchand with a huge open ice hit. The hit itself was so forceful that Marchand lost his helmet in the process and took a minute to gather himself thereafter. David Pasternak and Marchand tried to get even on the captain minutes later, but if we're being honest here, it probably felt a little like this for Ovi. A hit from a Lamborghini that's fun-sized. Once dubbed Nose Face Killer, Marchand's nose would be receiving all sorts of mistreatment that was far from verbal amid a regular season matchup against Washington. In the first frame of play, while the Bruins were attempting to get on the board in the opposing zone, Marchand could be shown going down in a heap behind the Capitals' nets. Reason being, Nick Dowd decided to viciously acquaint his stick with Marchand's nose. The act itself did look intentional, but for referees, intent wasn't the reason they dealt Dowd a four-minute high-sticking penalty. As Marchand nose took quite the licking and was in need of repairs on the bench. Unfortunately for Marchand, this wouldn't be the end of the onslaught pertaining to his nose, as Roman Yossi also got in on the nose bashing not long after, causing Marchand to once again have a leaky snarls. It, it stick right in. It absorbs right up. What are you doing, man? No, it's your barrel. Man, I, was throwing it, I was throwing my gum away. Your barrel hit my nose. The month of January earlier this year was a rough one for Marchand. First, his nose gets violated repeatedly. Then, in the next meeting against the Capitals, Marchand yet again was dealt a dose of pain. But this time around, it wouldn't be as simple as a stitch up for number 63. Midway through a contest in Boston, as Marchand was attempting to get something going for the B, his plans were instantly dashed. Garnet Hathaway, who clearly had other ideas, decided to hit Marchand after the puck had went up the boards. As for Marchand, well, it wouldn't be as simple as a two-minute sit in the sem bin. Following the collision with Hathaway and the boards, Marchand appeared to be in discomfort over on the Bruins bench. After the game, it was official news that Marchand had received an upper body injury due to the hit from Hathaway. For the final moment on this list, we'll be traveling back to 2013, to a regular season contest between Boston and Pittsburgh, which apparently isn't Marshawn's favorite team as of late. Anyways, back to the days when the real deal James Neal was still Penguin, and Pittsburgh was still wearing those beige and white away jerseys. Ugh, glad they ditched those. So, it's still early in the game about halfway through the first period, but it's obviously been more than enough time for Marchand to rattle James Neal. Because following a trip by Sidney Crosby, Marchand received a brutal hit that 
had to hurt just a little. Neil, who saw Marchand down and vulnerable, decided that this was his moment to shine and proceeded to skate into Marchand's face knee first. As you can imagine, this not so innocent act drew the attention of NHL player safety. And no, it wasn't Marchand this time who was a guilty party. Due to his actions, Neil was given a five game suspension for kneeing Marchand. Obviously, I'm sorry, and like I said, I'm glad he's okay. I need to learn from it. I'm hurting my team and I'm hurting myself, and it's something I shouldn't be doing. 